croquet is a sport that involves hitting plastic or wooden balls with a mallet through hoops embedded in a grass playing court. History The oldest document to bear the word croquet with a description of the modern game is the set of rules registered by Isaac Spratt in November 1856 with the Stationers Company in London. This record is now in the English Public Records Office. In 1868 the first croquet all-comers meeting was held at Moreton in Marsh, Gloucestershire and in the same year the All England Croquet Club was formed at Wimbledon, London. In the book Queen of Games, The History of Croquet, Nicky Smith presents two theories of the origin of the modern game that took England by storm in the 1860s and then spread overseas. The first explanation is that the ancestral game was introduced to Britain from France during the reign of Charles II of England, and was played under the name of Pale Male or Paul Mall, derived ultimately from Latin words for ball and mallet. This was the explanation given in the ninth edition of Encyclopaedia Britannica, dated 1877. In his 1810 book The Sports and Pastimes of the People of England, Joseph Strutt describes the way Paul Mall was played in England in the early 17th century. Pale Male is a game wherein a round box ball is struck with a mallet through a high arch of iron which either can do at the fewest blows, or at the number agreed upon, wins. It is to be observed, that there are two of these arches, that is one at either end of the alley. The game of moor was a fashionable amusement in the reign of Charles II, and the walk in St. James's Park, now called the moor, received its name from having been appropriated to the purpose of playing at moor, where Charles himself and his courtiers frequently exercised themselves in the practice of this pastime. Whilst the name Paul Mall and various games bearing this name may have been played elsewhere the description above suggests that the croquet-like games were certainly popular in England as early as 1611. Some early sources refer to Paul Mall being played over a large distance, however an image in Strutt's 1801 book shows a croquet-like ground billiards game being played over a short, garden-sized distance. The image's caption describes the game as a curious ancient pastime, confirming that croquet games were not new in early 19th century England. In Samuel Johnson's 1755 dictionary, his definition of Paul Moore clearly describes a game with similarities to modern croquet, a play in which the ball is struck with a mallet through an iron ring. However, there is no evidence that Paul Moore involved the croquet stroke which is the distinguishing characteristic of the modern game. The second theory is that the rules of the modern game of croquet arrived from Ireland during the 1850s, perhaps after being brought there from Brittany where a similar game was played on the beaches. Records show the similar game of crookie being played at Castle Blingham in 1834, which was introduced to Galway in 1835 and played on the Bishop's Palace Garden, and in the same year to the genteel Dublin suburb of Kingtown where it was first spelt as croquet. There is, however, no pre-1858 Irish document that describes the way game was played, in particular there is no reference to the distinctive croquet stroke. The noted croquet historian Dr. Pryor, in his book of 1872, makes the categoric statement one thing only is certain, it is from Ireland that croquet came to England and it was on the lawn of the late Lord Lonsdale that it was first played in this country. This was about 1851. John Jack apparently claimed in a letter to Arthur Lilly in 1873 that he had himself seen the game played in Ireland and, I made the implements in published directions before Mr. Spratt, mentioned above introduced the subject to me. Whatever the truth of the matter, Jack certainly played an important role in popularizing the game, producing editions of the rules in 1857, 1860, and 1864. Regardless when and by what routes it reached England and the British colonies in its recognizable form, croquet is, like Paul Moore, Trucco, Jeux de Mail and Coven, clearly a derivative of ground billiards, which was popular in Western Europe back to at least the 14th century, with roots in classical antiquity. Croquet became highly popular as a social pastime in England during the 1860s. By 1867, Jack had printed 65,000 copies of his laws and regulations of the game. It quickly spread to other Anglophone countries, including Australia, Canada, New Zealand, South Africa, and the United States. No doubt one of the attractions was that the game could be played by both sexes. This also ensured a certain amount of adverse comment. By the late 1870s, 
However, croquet had been eclipsed by another fashionable game, tennis, and many of the newly created croquet clubs, including the All England Club at Wimbledon, converted some or all of their lawns into tennis courts. There was a revival in the 1890s, but from then onwards, croquet was always a minority sport, with national individual participation amounting to a few thousand players. The All England Lawn Tennis and Croquet Club still has a croquet lawn, but has not hosted any significant tournaments. The English headquarters for the game is now in Cheltenham. Captain Muriton's at Linton Castle, the earliest known reference to croquet in Scotland is the booklet The Game of Croquet, its laws and regulations which was published in the mid-1860s for the proprietor of Eglinton Castle, the Earl of Eglinton. On the page facing the title page is a picture of Eglinton Castle with a game of croquet in full swing. The croquet lawn existed on the northern terrace, between Eglinton Castle and the Lugton Water. The 13th Earl developed a variation on croquet named Captain Muriton's Eglinton Castle Croquet, which had small bells on the eight hoops during the changes, two pegs, a double hoop with a bell and two tunnels for the ball to pass through. In 1865 the rules of the Eglinton Castle and Cassabury Croquet was published by Edmund Routledge. Several incomplete sets of this form of croquet are known to exist and one complete set is still used for demonstration games in the west of Scotland. It is not known why the L named the game thus. Competitive Variations There are several variations of croquet currently played, differing in the scoring systems, order of shots, and layout. Two forms of the game, association croquet and golf croquet, have rules that are agreed internationally and are played in many countries around the world. The United States has its own set of rules for domestic games. More unusual variations of the game include mondo croquet, extreme croquet, and bicycle croquet. Gateball, a sport originated in Japan under the influence of croquet, is played mainly in East and Southeast Asia and the Americas, it can also be regarded as a croquet variant. As well as club-level games, there are regular world championships and international matches between croquet-playing countries. The sport has particularly strong followings in the UK, US, New Zealand and Australia. Every four years, these countries play the McRoberts and Shield tournament. Many other countries also play. The current world rankings show England in top place for association croquet, followed by Australia and New Zealand sharing second place, with the United States in fourth position. The same four countries appear in the top six of the Golf Croquet League table, below Egypt in top position, and with South Africa at number 5. Croquet is popularly believed to be viciously competitive. This may derive from the fact that players will often attempt to move their opponents' balls to unfavorable positions. However, purely negative play is rarely a winning strategy, successful players will use all four balls to set up a break for themselves, rather than simply making the game as difficult as possible for their opponents. At Championship Standard Association Croquet, players can often make all 26 points in two turns. Croquet was an event at the 1900 Summer Olympics. Rock, an American variation on croquet, was an event at the 1904 Summer Olympics. Variations, Association Association Croquet is the name of an advanced game of croquet, played at international level. It involves four balls teamed in pairs with both balls going through every hoop for one pair to win. The game's distinguishing feature is the croquet shot, when certain balls hit other balls, extra shots are allowed. The six hoops are arranged three at each end of the court, with a center peg. In association croquet one side takes the black and blue balls, the other takes red and yellow. At each turn, players can choose to play with either of their balls for the turn. At the start of a turn, the player plays a stroke. If the player either hits the ball through the correct hoop, or hits another ball, the turn continues. Following a rocket, the player picks up his or her own ball and puts it down next to the ball that it hit. The next shot is played with the two balls touching, this is the croquet stroke from which the game takes its name. After the croquet stroke, the player plays a continuation stroke, during which the player may again attempt to make a rocket or run a hoop. Each of the other three balls may be rocketed once in a turn before a hoop is run, 
after which they become available to be rocketed again. The winner of the game is the team who completes the set circuit of six hoops, with both balls, and then strikes the center peg. Good players may make breaks of several hoops in a single turn. The best players may take a ball round a full circuit in one turn. Advanced play gives penalties to a player who runs certain hoops in a turn, to allow the opponent a chance of getting back into the game. Feats of skill such as triple peels or better, in which the partner ball is caused to run a number of hoops in a turn by the striker's ball help avoid these penalties. A handicap system provides less experienced players a chance of winning against more formidable opponents. Players of all ages and both sexes compete on level terms. The World Championships are organized by the World Croquet Federation and usually take place every two or three years. The New Zealand team won the last McRobertson International Croquet Shield Tournament, which is the major international test tour trophy in Association Croquet. It is contested every three to four years between Australia, Great Britain, the United States and New Zealand. Historically the British have been the dominant force, winning 14 times out of the 20 times the event has been held. In individual competition, the UK is often divided by Sioux National Country, while Northern Ireland joins with the Republic in an All-Ireland Association. As of 2013, the Association Croquet World Champion is Robert Fletcher of Australia and the Women's Association Croquet World Champion is Jenny Clark of New Zealand. The world's top 10 association croquet players as of February 2014 are Robert Fletcher, Chris Clark, Reg Bamford, Paddy Chapman, Aaron Westerby, Greg Bryant, Toby Garrison, Robert Fulford, David Maugham, and Jamie Birch. Unlike most sports, men and women compete and are ranked together. Three women have won the British Open Championship, Lily Gower in 1905, Dorothy Steele in 1925, 1933, 1935 and 1936, and Hope Retherum in 1960. While male players are in the majority at club level in the UK, the opposite is the case in Australia and New Zealand. The governing body in England is the Croquet Association, which has been the driving force of the development of the game. The rules and tournament regulations are now maintained by the International Laws Committee, established by the Croquet Associations of England and Wales, Australia, New Zealand and the United States. Golf In golf croquet, a hoop is won by the first ball to go through each hoop. Unlike association croquet, there are no additional turns for hitting other balls. Each player takes a stroke in turn, each trying to hit a ball through the same hoop. The sequence of play is blue, red, black, yellow. Blue and black balls play against red and yellow. When a hoop is won, the sequence of play continues as before. The winner of the game is the player team who wins the most hoops. Golf croquet is the fastest growing version of the game, owing largely to its simplicity and competitiveness. There is an especially large interest with competitive success by players in Egypt. Golf croquet is easier to learn and play, but requires strategic skills and accurate play. In comparison with association croquet, play is faster and balls are more likely to be lifted off the ground. In April 2013, Reg Bamford of South Africa beat Ahmed Nasr of Egypt in the final of the Golf Croquet World Championship in Cairo, becoming the first person to simultaneously hold the title in both association croquet and golf croquet. As of 2011, the women's golf croquet world champion was Rachel Rowe. Garden Garden croquet is widely played in the UK. The rules are easy to learn and the game can be played on lawns of almost any size but usually around 32 feet wide by 40 ft long. The rules are similar to those described above for association croquet with three major differences. The starting point for all balls is a spot three feet in from the boundary directly in front of hoop one. If a striker's ball goes off, there is no penalty, it comes back on three feet and the turn continues. In a croquet stroke the croquet ball does not have to move when the striker's ball is struck. This version of the game is easy for beginners to learn. The main garden croquet club in the UK is the Bygrave Croquet Club which is a private club with five lawns. Other clubs also use garden croquet as an introduction to the game, notably the Hampstead Heath Croquet Club and the Watford Croquet Club.
American Six Wicket, the American Rules version of Croquet, another six-hoop game, is the dominant version of the game in the United States and is also widely played in Canada. It is governed by the United States Croquet Association. Its genesis is mostly in association croquet, but it differs in a number of important ways that reflect the homegrown traditions of American backyard croquet. Two of the most notable differences are that the balls are always played in the same sequence throughout the game, and that a ball's deadness on other balls is carried over from turn to turn until the ball has been cleared by scoring its next hoop. Tactics are simplified on the one hand by the strict sequence of play, and complicated on the other hand by the continuation of deadness. A further difference is the more restrictive boundary line rules of American croquet. In the American game, rocketing a ball out of bounds or running a hoop out of bounds causes the turn to end, and balls that go out of bounds are replaced only nine inches from the boundary rather than a yard as in association croquet. Attacking balls on the boundary line to bring them into play is thus far more challenging. Nine wicket, nine wicket croquet, sometimes called backyard croquet, is played mainly in Canada and the United States, and is the game most recreational players in those countries call simply croquet. This version of croquet varies from six wicket croquet in that there are nine wickets, two stakes, and players can compete individually with a single ball, or as teams of two or three with up to six players competing. The course is arranged in a double diamond pattern, with one stake at each end of the course. Players start at one stake, navigate to one side of the double diamond, hit the turning stake, then navigate the opposite side of the double diamond and hit the starting stake to win the game. Unlike six-wicket croquet, where each time a ball is rocketed a croquet shot must be taken, players have three options after rocketing another ball. These reflect the more individual aspect of nine-wicket croquet. The options are, nothing the player may leave the ball where it came to rest and take two shots. Mallet head length, players may place their ball a mallet head's length or less from the ball he hit, and take two shots. Croquet, as in six-wicket croquet, players may place their ball in contact with the ball they hit and strike their ball in such a way that both balls move. When making this shot, player may place their ball next to the ball they hit, place their hand or foot on top of their ball, then strike their own ball such that their opponent's ball moves while their own ball remains in place. A foot shot is sometimes called a buggy ride. They may then take their second shot as a continuation shot, ordinarily, the first person to finish the course wins the game. However, some players prefer to use an endgame procedure called poison. In poison, once a player has scored the last hoop but has not hit the starting stake, their ball becomes poison, which allows them to eliminate other balls from the game by rocketing them. If a non-poison ball rockets a poison ball, the standard rocketing options apply, but if a poison ball travels through a wicket or hits a stake for any reason, it forfeits and is eliminated from the game. The last person remaining is the winner. Ricochet this version of the game was invented by John Riches of Adelaide, Australia with help from Tom Armstrong in the 1980s. The game can be played by up to six people and is very easy to learn. For this reason it is often used as a stepping stone to association croquet. Ricochet has similar rules to association and garden croquet, except that when a ball is rocketed, the striker's ball remains live and two free shots are earned. This enables strikers to play their ball near to another opponent ball and ricochet the two thus earning two more free shots. Running a hoop earns one free shot. Glossary of terms. Backward ball, the ball of a side that has scored fewer hoops. Ball in hand, a ball that the striker can pick up to change its position, for example. Any ball when it leaves the court has to be replaced on the yard line. The streaker a Euro unregistered trademark S ball after making a rocket must be placed in contact with the rocketed ball, the streaker a Euro unregistered trademark S ball when the striker is entitled to a lift. Ball in play, a ball after it has been played into the game, which is not a ball in hand or pegged out. Book, an imaginary line on which a ball is placed for its first shot in the game, or when taking a lift. The A balk coincides with the western half of the yard line along the south boundary. The B balk occupies the eastern half of the north boundary yard line. Bisque, 
Half bisque A bisque is a free turn in a handicap match. A half bisque is a restricted handicap turn in which no point may be scored. Breakdown, to end a turn by making a mistake. Continuation stroke, either the bonus stroke played after running a hoop in order or the second bonus stroke played after making a rocket. Croquet stroke, a stroke taken after making a rocket, in which the striker's ball and the rocketed ball are placed together in contact. Double tap, a fault in which the mallet makes more than one audible sound when it strikes the ball. Ford ball, the ball of a side that has scored more hoops. Hoop, metal U-shaped gate pushed into ground, leave, the position of the balls after a successful break, in which the striker is able to leave the balls placed so as to make life as difficult as possible for the opponent. Lift, a turn in which the player is entitled to remove the ball from its current position and play instead from either balk line. A lift is permitted when a ball has been placed by the opponent in a position where it is wired from all other balls, and also in advanced play when the opponent has completed a break that includes hoops one back or four back. Object ball, a ball which is going to be rushed. Peg out, to cause a rover ball to strike the peg and conclude its active involvement in the game. Peel, to send a ball other than the striker's ball through its target hoop. Pioneer, a ball placed in a strategic position near the striker's next but one or next but two hoop, to assist in running that hoop later in the break. Primary colors or first colors, the main croquet ball colors used which are blue, red, black and yellow. Blue and black, and red and yellow, are played by the same player or pair. Push, a fault when the mallet pushes the striker's ball, rather than making a clean strike. Rocket, when the streaker a Euro unregistered trademark S ball hits a ball that he is entitled to then take a croquet shot with. At the start of a turn, the striker is entitled to rocket all the other three balls once. Once the striker's ball goes through its target hoop, it is again entitled to rocket the other balls once. Rover ball, a ball that is run all 12 hoops and can be pegged out. Rover hoop, the last hoop, indicated by a red top bar. The first hoop has a blue top. Runner hoop, to send the streaker a Euro unregistered trademark S ball through a hoop. If the hoop is the hoop in order for the streaker a Euro unregistered trademark S ball, the striker earns a bonus stroke. Rush. A rocket when the rocketed ball is sent to a specific position on the court, such as the next hoop for the striker a Euro unregistered trademark S ball or close to a ball that the striker wishes to rocket next. Scatter shot, a continuation stroke used to hit a ball which may not be rocketed in order to send it to a less dangerous position. Secondary colors or second colors. Also known as alternate colors. The colors of the balls used in the second game played on the same court in double banking, green, pink, brown and white. Green and brown versus pink and white, are played by the same player or pair. Sextuple peel, to peel the partner ball through its last six hoops in the course of a single turn. Very few players have achieved this feat, but it is being seen increasingly at championship level. Tice. A ball sent to a location that will entice an opponent to shoot at it but miss. Triple peel, to send a ball other than the streaker a Euro unregistered trademark S ball through its last three hoops, and then peg it out. See also triple peel, a variant is the triple peel on opponent, where the peel is the opponent's ball rather than the partner ball. The significance of this manoeuvre is that in advanced play, Making a break that includes the tenth hoop is penalized by granting the opponent a lift. Therefore many breaks stop voluntarily with three hoops and the peg still to run. Wired, when a hoop or the peg impedes the path of a striker's ball, or the swing of the mallet. A player will often endeavor to finish a turn with the opponent's balls wired from each other. Yard line, an imaginary line one yard from the boundary. Balls that go off the boundary are generally replaced on the yard line. In art and literature, the way croquet is depicted in paintings and books says much about popular perceptions of the game, though little about the reality of modern play. In 1868 a song titled Croquet was included in a popular song book by W. O. Perkins, The Golden Robin. There are four full verses. Winslow Homer, a Permil de Wad Manet. Louise Abba copyright Ma and Pierre Bunnett all have paintings titled The Croquet Game. 
Norman Rockwell often depicted the game, including in his painting Croquet. A favorite subject of Edward Gorey, a croquet reference often appeared in the first illustration of his books. The apoplectic bicycle opens with two illustrations of the main characters playing with croquet mallets. H. G. Wells wrote The Croquet Player, which uses croquet as a metaphor for the way in which people confront the very problem of their own existence. Lewis Carroll featured a nonsense version of the game in the popular children's novel Alice's Adventures in Wonderland, a hedgehog was used as the ball, a flamingo the mallet, and playing cards as the hoops. In the Thursday Next series of novels, notably Something Rotten, Jasper Ffordee depicts an alternative world in which croquet is a brutal mass spectator sport. In the 1988 film Heathers, Renona Ryder and her friends, the Heathers, are depicted as playing croquet, though at the beginning, the Heathers are playing croquet to hit someone on the head. In politics, on May 25, 2006, the then British Deputy Prime Minister, John Prescott, was photographed by the Mail on Sunday playing croquet at his official residence, Dornywood. Following shortly after a sex scandal that had forced Prescott to resign his ministerial responsibilities while retaining his salary and privileges, the incident was portrayed as evidence that Prescott had little real responsibility for running the country during the absence of the Prime Minister. Shortly afterwards, Prescott announced that he would no longer make use of the Dornywood residence. It was also reported that the incident led to a 300% increase in sales of croquet equipment at ASDA, while the TV Channel 5 announced that they would be running a series featuring croquet matches played at country houses pitting rich against poor players. Clubs, about 200 croquet clubs across the United States are members of the United States Croquet Association. USCA-affiliated clubs in major U.S. cities include the New York, Chicago, Beverly Hills, Denver, Phoenix, San Francisco, Oakland, Houston, Boston, Detroit, Kansas City, Louisville, Seattle, and Portland Croquet Clubs. Many colleges have croquet clubs as well, such as the University of Virginia, the University of Chicago, Pennsylvania State University, Bates College, SUNY New Ports, and Harvard University. Notably, St. John's College and the U.S. Naval Academy engage in a yearly match in Annapolis, Maryland. Both schools also compete at the collegiate level and the rivalry continues to be an Annapolis tradition, attracting thousands of spectators each April. In England and Wales there are around 170 clubs affiliated with the Croquet Association. The larger clubs include Bowden, Cheltenham, Edgbaston, Guildford and Godalming, Nailsey, Nottingham, Roehampton, Sidmouth, and Woking. In Wimbledon at the All England Lawn Tennis and Croquet Club is where the famous lawn tennis tournament takes place. At the other end of the scale and also affiliated to the Croquet Association is Bygrave Croquet Club which specializes in playing and promoting garden croquet. There are also clubs in many universities and colleges, with an annual varsity match being played between Oxford and Cambridge. With over 1,800 participants, the 2011 Oxford University Cup has tournament claimed to be not only the largest croquet tournament ever, but the largest sporting event in the university. In Scotland is situated the Edinburgh Croquet Club. See also References External links Links to all national associations, where to play, rules, history, court layouts, a synopsis of the laws of association croquet, from Oxford Croquet. Synopsis of American Croquet, from the United States Croquet Association, The Official Rules of Backyard Croquet, from the United States Croquet Association, Official Rules of Garden Croquet, Croquet Rules and Regulations, from Croquet.com, The Croquet Association Jargon List, Arkley Croquet Collection A Euro An Exceptional Selection of Paintings, Cartoons and Photographs Depicting the Game of Croquet, from UBC Library Digital Collections.